So let's just do a hypothetical. You have someone who you consider to be a bad leader, but the country is in a better place, or someone who pretends to be a good leader and the country is going to hell. Which decision would you make? I'd pick a good leader. And the country going Not to hell? Not pretends. A good leader. A do, good leader. do you think that would be Kamala Harris? I, as under a good leader, the country's not going to hell. Well, but okay, so let's say, do you think Kamala Harris is that good leader? I think Kamala Harris is better than Donald Trump. So first What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back on a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook. Tia is a part trope hater. Okay, this is going to be amazing. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. College campuses used to be the anti-war home of America. And now the Democrat Party is having former directors of the CIA speak at the DNC just minutes before Kamala Harris, Leon Panetta, and then Dick Cheney coming out saying Donald Trump is the most dangerous person in the history of the country. That's an exact quote, by the way. Okay. I think we'd agree that's a little bit... I know, actually, I do agree with that quote. Oh, you think, oh, you think <laughs> oh, yeah. Donald Trump's the most dangerous person in the history of the country? Com completely. I believe wow. the way that he tried to go across and... And he tried to go across and completely erase our democratic process. They did multiple investigations. So it was a very hold up. It was a very Trump-oriented Supreme Court at the time. If there's one thing Trump's good at, it's putting courts in justice. Okay. And he had a lot of those guys in power, and they still didn't even accept the case. Mike Pence, luckily, Trump did. Trump almost did it. He almost overturned the election for his favor, but that was completely that. That's completely undemocratic and the most yeah. American so it, thing it, I've it, seen in my life. So. Okay, in the spirit of not like engaging in hyperbole, mm -hmm. so you think Trump is a greater threat to the country than like Timothy McVeigh, who did the Oklahoma City bombing? No, no. I, I mean, okay. I'm, I, I'm, I just want to make sure that you're not. Let getting, me let me rephrase. I'm let, to, give to, you rephrase a to, to rephrase yeah. that, yeah. I, I, okay. To rephrase that, I'm gonna say politician, person in power. Timothy McVeigh didn't do the Oklahoma State. Someone said, okay, politicians in power. So yeah. more so than Jefferson Davis, who led the Confederacy? Modern politicians in power. Modern okay. All right. no, okay. people alive. Fair enough. You so can now, keep trying to, no, no. to divert well, it, no. but I'm talking about right now. Okay, we're, right we're, now we're, in we're, my We're closing lifetime, the window okay? a little bit, yep. but that's okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm glad that we are. So more so than George W. Bush, who launched two illegal wars and killed thousands of Americans and millions of Iraqis? Well, no, I just want to be clear. The, the, the personal standard, effect, the Constitution, almost, in my eyes, almost got completely overturned. How by Trump. It, okay, so I just want to make sure he that we're, tried to we're dealing in the our same democratic process. Okay. Yeah, we are doing it in the same no, 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 planet. No, 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 oh, yeah, I was there. I saw all that happen. You, you were there on January 6th? Wow, I, <laughs> I, saw, I was watching it on TV. <laughs> okay. Um, no, but I just want to be Good clear. Good diversion. I, I just want to be clear, though. Um, you did ask about Dick Cheney, which I think is interesting. But to be, <laughs> we just, go back to Dick Cheney. But no, with, with Donald Trump, it's fine. <laughs> So how did he overturn or try to overturn the U.S. Constitution? He did not win the election, and he claimed that he did, and he did everything in his power okay. to stay in power. Are you allowed to challenge results of an election? Absolutely. That's I mean, what he recounts, did. Recounts, recounts, completely recounts of an election. That is a, a lawful challenge. They did that. He still, to this day, up until actually a few weeks ago, claimed that he should be president. Right, so, so and just, he also no, went no, no. up to the Capitol building. F hold on, hold on. Well, for, first of all, he didn't Mike go to the, Pence, he did not Pence go to the Capitol building. No, he didn't. You're right. You're right. But if so, Mike Pence, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm saying his supporters. You're right. Mike Pence, which he told to go peacefully and patriotically go to the Capitol building. They did not. Well, some did actually. Most did not. I did well, not hold see on, that. Not most did. You know, there was only about forty or fifty violent people out of three thousand people on the day of January sixth. By the way, that's not what I saw. Who in the died on January sixth? Trump supporter. Yeah, the only person who died was Ashley Babbitt, killed by Nancy Pelosi's bodyguard. A Trump supporter was murdered. Trump supporters didn't kill anyone. They were not, wait, wait a second. But they were making threats and they're charging the Capitol building? No, I'm, again, I'm not defending the violence, <laughs> okay, yeah. but I want to be clear. What you think is the greatest threat to democracy of your lifetime Completely. is like 40 or 50 guys live action role playing as militia members. Yeah. One that dressed like Chewbacca going on the Senate floor, <laughs> thinking they're going to take over the U.S. government. Whoa, 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 whoa. Meanwhile, you have a okay, George Trying to downplay that? Clear, they, they, no, I'll, somebody I am died. It. You just mentioned somebody well, died in that. It clearly got big enough to where somebody was killed. What? What? Okay. Yes. A, and a also, I saw the videos. They're breaking windows. They're they're yes. A bodyguard the SWAT. murdered a woman unnecessarily. And yes, I'm not. She I'm said, not "Do not, cro to do not cross the door." And she got shot. Wow, you think that's okay? I, I I hate to see that. I hate to see that. Okay, I, I appreciate the honesty. I completely. I because she was like an unarmed American veteran 
who was protesting something you disagree with, mm -hmm. got a little ahead of herself, and she got the death penalty. But they did make a strict order, and that was also our Capitol no, building. No, well, I also, fair, I, fair I, enough, I, but... The, may, the, the police officers there, too, it's also were constantly her getting pushed back. Too, just absolutely, to be clear. Yeah. absolutely. So you no. shouldn't get the death penalty for I like that you're being clear. I like that you're being clear. Absolutely. But I just want to make sure, just so we're morally consistent. George W. Bush, who put thousands of American lives and died because of the Iraq-Afghanistan war, and, or Donald Trump, who 40 of his supporters went and broke some windows. And a Based off a the couple, threat to democracy, Donald Trump, way worse. Way worse. What is democracy? Yeah, to our democratic process to elect a president. That right. is what I consider. So, involving of which is to challenge election results? Challenge election results, and then ultimately conceding an election when the investigations and the recounts have been done. Well, they were actually ongoing. There were many cases that were continuing for the month of December. But to be clear, because you have to be consistent, Hillary Clinton still has not conceded she lost to Donald Trump. Is she also Whoa. a threat to democracy? No, 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 no. Hillary Clinton did uh, showed up to Donald Trump's inauguration. Hold on and a did second. Concede. That is she not. She has never conceded. She said it was because of the Russians, and he was an illegitimate president. Now, no, the Russians did not influence the votes directly, but they were pumping in lots of false information to try to influence the election. And you are so That's programmed true. by the Democrats. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like it's just. It, it, it's like, please try to have an independent thought somewhere. No, but I just want to be, uh, just to be morally clear, that, right. that Donald Trump, on what he did on January 6th, and what some of his supporters did breaking... I, I thought you are supposed to be objective. You're not supposed to get, like, personal and try to, like, attack people up well, here. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to have a free, independent thought. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Okay. No, you're right. not. But just your standard is Donald Trump, the worst person ever. That's fine. Do you think he was a good president? I think he was a terrible leader. Absolutely atrocious leader. Was the economy decent under Trump? It was good under Obama. I think I don't disagree with everything he did, okay. but I think overall, as a servant leader, not showing up to an the inauguration, constantly flip flopping on ideas, his his rhetoric, and you can say, oh, just mean tweets. As a leader, you're responsible for that. That stuff trickles down to the American people and ultimately can have really adverse effects. So let's just do a hypothetical. You have someone who you consider to be a bad leader, but the country is in a better place, or someone who pretends to be a good leader and the country is going to hell. Which decision would you make? I'd pick a good leader. And the country going Not to pretends. hell? Not pretends. A good leader. A do, good leader. do you think that would be Kamala Harris? As under a good leader, the country's not going to hell. Well, but okay, so let's say, do you think Kamala Harris is that good leader? I think Kamala Harris is better than Donald Trump, so first of all, Oh my goodness, even the reaction of the whole crowd right there tells you that. <laughs> bro, you're joking. You, bro, you're lying. Kamala Harris is no better than Donald Trump in any way. <laughs> the reaction from the crowd says it all. <laughs> you don't have to say any other thing. Like, it's, it's obvious. January 6th, I would say um, it was not a trial Donald Trump fault because he actually won the protesters. Um, he talked to them, he gave them um, a warning, peaceful protest, you understand? It was a peaceful protest that he wanted, but things blew out of proportion, and we saw some chaos that happened that day, which was bad, and someone also lost um, their life, and her life right there. I understand, it's, it's, it's kind of like... Um, it's hurtful and it's something that is a day that I've been marked already. It's it's hurtful because for someone to lose a life during the protest, it's it's it was really, really intense. You understand? It was really intense. So um I would say Donald Trump was actually a good president during his tenure. You understand? There are some um decision he made that was not favorable to everyone. It was not please it was not pleasable to everyone's sides. Everyone did not actually support him or accept what he did but it was actually for the betterment of the country you understand so um if you tell me if i would choose donald trump again for the second tenor i would definitely choose him november 5th i would choose him again for for him to run again as a president um i know he did not accept um joe biden being a president at first he declined the the um the results he did not accept it he has the right to do that so if if you have to tell me now that do, during the donald trump era and uh, during Joe Biden. This is Donald Trump, this is Joe Biden. The two era. Which one do I prefer? <laughs> Donald Trump. The reason why is because the economy was much better. Number one. Number two, illegal immigrants who are coming to 
America right now was not as much as it is right now. Like, it's not as much as it is right now. So the border ought to have been short since. <laughs> uh, they have to have a control. During the Trump era, that was under control. But Joe Biden, it was just terrible. Number three, the economy, aside the economy, housing prices are skyrocketing. Like, it's it's really, really hard. It's hard for a middle class, a middle class right now to own a house. It's really, really hard. It's not easy. The economy is, is in Joe Party, guys. It's not easy for a, a normal citizen, a middle class American to own a house. It's not easy. So, um, I'll keep on choosing Donald Trump every single time. So, guys, the, the entire video right here was actually beautiful. The student right there is, is evidence that he's a Trump hater and some of his words, he has been, he have actually been brainwashed. That is the simple fact of it. He has been brainwashed and he don't want to leave that, that state of mind right now. And I love how Charlie actually put him in his place and clear him and give, show him evidence of which side was he going to pick? A good leader who who people see as a bad person who actually do the, the job properly or someone who pulls as a good leader but is not trying to do the job properly? Which one will you choose? So it's, it's obvious which one he picked. He is a Democrat and he there is nothing you will tell him that he's going to take his mind off being a Democrat or changing his hate for Donald Trump. Comment down below, think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as can, subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all